Hello Nuggets, it's your favorite TT from Divine Me 1111 Spiritual Guidance and I hope you're doing well. This is the first day of the month. Thank you all so much for your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. I appreciate it. We are growing. It helps the channel to grow and it helps the message get out to more people. So thank you. I appreciate it and it does make me feel good. So by all means, please continue to do so. Leo's, it's your birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. So happy birthday. And you have the opportunity to get a $10 30-minute reading. All other readings are an hour and those are $55.55, so please do contact me for your personal message. And we have um, links to my other platforms for additional content and other services that I provide, okay? So get at your TT. All right. <sighs> I don't know about y'all, but this weekend was something enlightening and if you are getting enlightening and um, awareness of things that you were confused about and things getting clear well congratulations um, for some of us some things that may have been um, disappointing or um, heartbreaking fixed our vision so Hopefully, we are in that energy of seeing things clearly and moving accordingly. All right. So, channel songs for today. We have, we have, in both of these songs, they're happy songs. So, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited about this. All right. My old favorite in standby, for some reason, it just, it kicked in and said, this is what it is. And it's kind of a groove. Okay, it's kind of, you know, getting into this groove of, you know, happy feelings in the air. Come on now. Touching people everywhere. Come on, Frankie Beverly and Mace. And um, Happy by Pharrell Williams. So, you know, do what it is. Do what it is. Live in it. Love it. Embrace it shine it from the inside do what you got to do to be in your frequency in your energy in your as uh abraham hicks would say in your vortex to uh be aligned with what you choose to receive even if it is not so um high a frequency of lesson or encounter it still has a purpose for you okay all right, so that is that message. Let's get to the TT Music Oracles. TT Music Oracle message for the collective. I am hearing be what it is. Be what it is. All right. Okay, we got something sticking out, so I want to take that. Whole stack flip over and we not let's bring it calm it down calm it down I don't know if y'all hear that you probably can't over the music but um, one of my neighbors has a rooster and the rooster is crowing all right we'll take these we have in the air by Phil Collins I can feel it coming in the air tonight Oh no, okay. I don't know why I'm singing, but I'm singing. All right. Um, I wish you were here by Incubus. Baby, I'm yours by Shy, and Shy is spelled S H A I. All right. And uh, Too Late to Apologize by One Republic. Under the deck, we have When I See You by Fantasia. So, bringing some things into fruition. Um, 
hoping, wishing, praying to bring some things uh, into alignment that you do want to see. And for some of us, those things are starting to bud. And for others of us, we still got a little bit more work to do before we start to um, see the fruits of our labor. But it does not mean that it's not coming, Nuggets. It just means that it's taking a little bit more time for other things to come into alignment in order for us to have what it is that we choose to have um, manifest in the 3D and it's not all about things. It could be um, manifesting the job that you wish to have, manifesting the, um, the connections and networking and relationships that you wish to have to grow your business, to grow your, um, your uh, truest, authentic, identity of yourself what you wish to portray to the world the example that you wish to see take it how it applies for you okay because these um, these energies are infinite all right whoever reaches whoever this reaches the possibilities are endless for you okay okay um there's some there there's some some energies coming to your fruition um, some things that you wish to see, some things that you put prayer into a long time ago and, you know, forgot about it and was like, well, I guess it's not going to work out. You'll see it. You'll see it. Because the thing is, is God's word cannot come back void. All right. So, ooh, animal spirit wild unknown animal spirit message is the hawk air energy your thoughts being in alignment with um, what you wish to see with protecting yourself guiding yourself creating what you want in the world and also having the um, strength courage wisdom and willpower to go after it okay higher thinking a new perspective under the deck ah we've had this little one come out a couple of times sharp this is emotions this is feelings um happy feelings for some of us this is that that bruce bruce energy from um um I, I keep wanting to say dory and i don't think he is in finding dory he is in finding nemo okay but still nonetheless Feelings coming to the surface, um, coming out of the dark, things being seen. This is stuff under the deck. This is under the deck. So now um, with these things that, you know, are under the surface, not so um, positive emotions for some and for others of you, this is, you know, this is that to me also, this is that energy of resting bitch face shark can't help how it looks this is naturally its look it looks like a predator okay but it does not mean that um you cannot evolve and learn and grow just like bruce did it wasn't necessarily that you know he's you know um, a predator yes he is that is his nature but he is conscious enough He's raised his level of consciousness enough, his emotional intelligence, to say, hey, I'm not just a killer. I'm not just a machine. I'm not just this um, witless, emotionless entity. I am a being. I am a sovereign being, and I can choose how I feel. I can choose what I think. I can choose where I go, and that is the enlightenment coming out of the dark you go from swimming in deep waters to flying high in the sky okay i'm hearing the um reading rainbow theme song and of course reading rainbow automatically i think of lavar burton and the brilliance that he is he was um the host of jeopardy last week and i thoroughly enjoyed that all right, so messages for the collective. What's 
what's the energy for today? What energy are we bringing in today? Okay, we have. All right, so we have card number 38, Laced Moon's Daughter. This is coming into alignment with your higher and lower self. It's what I take it as, okay? The, um, the earthly uh, 3D part of you coming into alignment with your higher self and being one in the 3D. This is 3D energy for me. Um, also knowing and realizing that you are covered. Your earthly vessel is covered by heavenly beings, your, ans your ancestors, your guides, your angels, um, ascended master big brother Jesus whatever whomever your higher being is God's got you covered okay card number 10 the singer of healing the singer of healing this is very much healing something that uh, was once um, not as grounded not as in alignment for some of you, this could be going somewhere or speaking to someone and getting some guidance. Um, hello, card reader. Doesn't have to be. This could be um, um, going to school and learning something new and uh, as far as uh, becoming a nurse or some kind of healer, okay? Or going to, uh, going to therapy okay take it as it applies take it as it applies we have no we just out here whatever comes in okay all right healing this could also be healing a partnership healing a relationship all right and last card we have is card number 57 uh Lawathis the wild this happens out of the blue this happens out of the blue um, for some, this is uh, something spontaneous coming in and it is just very um, healing and soothing and bringing you together in an alignment with yourself. For others of you, this could also be someone coming in and trying to raid on your parade. We don't mess with those kinds of energies. We heal them and we send them on their way. Under the deck. Ha! Ha! Oh my gosh, this is cool. Under the deck. What is this one? Um, um, Epona's Wild Daughter. And Epona's Wild Daughter reminds me of this card. There's another one that reminds me of this card as well. But either way, you go from being solid and stable. I'm sorry. You go from, this is underneath the deck. You go from being um, closed off and um, in an energy of you know worry and doubt or just putting your head down and praying and in a place of hermit mode to stable and balanced and knowing, realizing, recognizing how covered you are. This is you worrying and losing your shit. For some of you, this is also putting your head down and getting some understanding learning and listening to your divine higher self and then being grounded in that and moving forward it's all good it's all to the beat it's all to the beat card number 54 there under the deck all right so there's healing seeing things from a higher perspective um leaving and moving away from um, the heaviness and the dark energy and going into the light stuff. Moving on without apology. All right? Doing what needs to be done for you. Okay? Psychic Tarot Oracle message. Let's see. I love doing the oracles. The oracles are... Um, They have more of a healing message to me than the the tarot. The tarot cuts to the quick, and sometimes it's 
there's a there's less wiggle room we're getting those intuitive nudges whereas the oracles <sighs> they set you straight on an energetic level that's just my personal thing Card number 11, balance. Hello. This is the justice card in the traditional tarot. Balance. You having everything you need to move forward. Your archangels and your guides are there for you. And uh, with this balance, this is... Um, Seeing things for what they are, um, karma being settled, debts being settled, energetic justice. Also, um, with all of the elements here, being uh, balanced in your mind, in your heart, in your 3D world, your materials, and in your inspired actions. Okay? karma being settled however that comes comes in for you um being in this uh energy space of putting get, receiving what you put out okay and then putting out what you receive accordingly i'm getting that accordingly all right and also this singer of healing the singer of healing also is going to bring in something i mean it's it's going to be like an epiphany it's going to come out of nowhere all right under the deck we have card number six memories of love this is i am hearing a vision of love by mariah carey for some reason i don't hardly ever get that from this card but this is um past love past energy past um, um, connections and occurrences and with this six of cups energy there's balance balance karma being settled being healed anything that you were once um, in the space of worrying about when it comes to your past you now see it as um, thing that's being paid and settled and you are capable of moving forward. It's a new day. It's that, um, um, Miss Patty LaBelle, it's a new day. All right. Oh, I am, um, what's his name? Frank Sinatra. It's a new day. It's a new life. All right. Spirit Animal Oracle message, we have two of them. Card number 40, Mouse Spirit, Tend to the Small Things. Details. Details, details, details. Okay? Something that may seem insignificant is very much um, trying to... Um, steer you in the right direction it is you paying attention to the small things paying attention to the details and we also have card number five bat spirit rebirth is assured the small things bring things to life the small little detail thing that you switch or that you allow that you um, change your mind, your focus, your thinking in, getting a higher perspective in. Okay, the wind's blowing. Uh, the things that you get the higher perspective in changes everything. One little small detail can change your whole perspective. Under the deck, we have card number six. Okay, so 40 is a four, five. Card number six under the deck, Beaver Spirit, lay the founda lay foundation. You getting solid, getting cool, understanding that things happen the way that they were supposed to in your past, 
makes everything, you know, solid. You're okay. And then once you are solid and okay with what happened, it is what it is. Understanding that you're covered. The things that you need to shift. When you switch and shift your thinking and your energy, everything around you has to come into alignment. You bring your your life into fruition. You have the power. Realizing that the power is yours. Realizing that God gave it to you. And honoring that. Okay? And you, as you honor that and realize who the fuck you are and who God created you to be. Balance comes in. Karma is settled. Debts are settled. And things bring, you bring new things into life. All right? There's that evanescence. Bring me to life. All right. Okay. Ooh, okay. All paths lead home. Inner authority, intuition. Turn your gaze within. You fixing you for you, doing you, brings everything you wish into alignment. It brings you back to home base within yourself. You practicing the pause and... Uh, retracting your energy to do the healing work that needs to be done speaking the things that need to be spoken to addressing things that need to be addressed clearly changes everything it changes everything it changes your whole perspective and gives you a new idea of how to show up okay under the deck we have inner earth you'll survive this new solutions and beginnings Whatever happened in the past, whatever happened before you um, got to this day, it's very much being healed and being brought to your awareness that there are it, think, you thinking solutions rather than thinking about the problem. Focusing on the solution rather than focusing on the issue okay i like this there are new games afoot it's monday take charge you have until the next breath to make everything you want come into your reality what are you thinking what are you co-creating okay all right, I am going to leave it there. The energies and signs that you could possibly be dealing with at this time. We have um, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius. Yep, Libra, Scorpio, and Sagittarius. All right, doesn't have to be, but there it is, okay? Um, I'm also going to put in there Pisces. The singer of healing is giving me um, Jupiter energy. So, all right, Nuggets, I love you. I love you from my soul. And I send you all blessings and light. Take care.